Hello, YouTube staff. You guys thought you were going to get rid of me, didn't you? Nope. Oh, just for the record, I'm not taking your offer to be hired. Because, see, every time you guys do try to offer somebody to work for you, it's usually because you want them to be shut up. It's usually because you guys want to try to shut them up. Well, guess what? I'm the motherfucker that ain't gonna fall for your shit. And you can try to shadow ban me, whatever. I don't fucking care. I'll continue to make accounts and I'll continue to call you guys the fuck out. Because your platform is a fucking joke. Matter of fact, you know what's funny? I can run this platform better than the motherfucking owner can. Because I re-looked at your terms of service and I found holes all the way through the fucking system. One. You guys sit there and say, oh, if you're banned, you're not allowed to make a new account. That's a fucking lie. Because if it went against your terms of service, then why is it that several people make new accounts whenever they get banned? Second off, oh, we don't support outside shops. Yes, you do. Because if you didn't support outside shops, some of your biggest fucking YouTubers on your platform would be banned right now. And would be shut down. So, that's a lie. Lie number three. Oh, all YouTubers, big or small, are allowed to, are able to contact us 24-7. No, they're not. If they were able to contact you 24-7, then why do you reserve direct chat and direct contact with you guys for your bigger YouTubers only? For your YouTubers that have that have over a million subscribers and up. Why is that? Why is it that you reserve that for your million subscriber count people, for your 100,000 subscriber count people? Why is that? See, if I ran YouTube, I would do it the proper fucking way. I'll make sure that there's enough staff to look at all the videos to, you know, analyze them personally. You know, have a team of two or three people, you know, going over different videos at one time. Have teams of three all throughout that whole thing. Second off, I would make damn sure that every single YouTuber, big or small, has direct access to the helpline directly to YouTube to be able to contact YouTube if they needed it. Second off, I would make it to where every YouTuber is allowed to have a shop. Because that right there is where your biggest money is coming in at from your YouTubers are their views and their merchandise shops. I don't care who you are. Every YouTuber deserves to have a shop. Unless it's a garbage shop with offensive stuff, then they don't deserve to have it. So, no, YouTube, I will not work for you. But, like I told my friend CIL, what I will do...
is I will bounty hunt for you, in a sense. I will help you guys go after Marty and William and all these other trolls. I have no problem with that. But I will not work for you. I will not work for a company that allows the kind of behavior that they've allowed on their platform. I will not work for a company that sits there and promotes terrorism and bullying and pedophilia and pedophilia supporting and harassment and bullying. I will not work for a company that puts up with that shit. Therefore, YouTube, I'm not interested. You couldn't pay me enough to work for you guys. I'll work alongside you as an ally to help stop this bullshit that's going on, but I will not work for you. I am a music artist and I am a content creator and I plan to stay as such. Now, like I said before, unless you want to get hauled into court by me and several other people, they have gone through the same shit. I suggest you get your shit together. You get your staff. And you start taking better care of your fucking platform. And stop fucking neglecting it. Do your fucking job. Stop neglecting it. Actually fucking do something. To make YouTube a safe place again for people that want to create content. But as I said, YouTube, I will not work for you. I will help you out with this troll situation, with this troll pandemic. I'll help you get a lid on that. I have no problem with that. But, I cannot allow myself as a good person to work for a corrupt system that is fucking over its people. Therefore, I will not work for you. I will work alongside you to help you stop this troll pandemic for good. But that's it. After that, I'm going back to creating content and doing my music. And releasing my merchandise. But I will never work for YouTube as a YouTube staff member. As a content creator, yes. As a staff member, no. So my official answer to you, YouTube, is no. I will not work for you.